Isn't this what most Australians think of when they think of Christmas? You bet. I sometimes actually think of Christmas Day a bit more like it's Boxing Day Eve. Boxing Day's got all the food and fun of Christmas, except with televised sport. Australia's been called the land of the long weekend. And that's probably not true anymore. Australia and the rest of the world with it really have become stuck in an almost constant cycle of work. It's as though Christmas is one of the very few times where nearly everyone has a few days off together. But of course, lots of families will have a nurse or a person working in emergency services who won't be there for Christmas. But the Bible ends with a picture not of a long weekend, but of a never-ending weekend. A time and a place when work with all of its frustrations will be set aside for good. When Jesus' mother Mary realised she was pregnant and that the father was not the man she was engaged to, God thankfully sent an angel to fill in a few of the gaps. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favoured. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favour with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of God Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. The kingdom that will never end has a king as its centre, and that king was the one born to Mary, Jesus. Now, in Australia, we're not really used to feeling like the Queen has much direct power over us. But if you ever find yourself accused of a criminal case in court, the case will be called the Crown versus whatever your name is. By breaking the law, you will have brought yourself into a conflict with the Crown, who upholds order in society. We might not feel like we are a part of a kingdom, but in this example, you certainly would know it if you had committed a crime. Simply by being a citizen of the Commonwealth country, you're under the authority of the king or queen at the time. But Jesus' kingdom is different. You're not born into it. Entry isn't automatic. You need to opt in. In fact, you need to trust the king to become part of his kingdom. And I wonder if you've done that. I wonder if you are ready for the day when Jesus comes back to rescue and save all those that serve him. Because if you trust in Jesus as your king, then you haven't got Christmas wrong.